welcome to the first edition of Cane Talk Trial Talk, where we're going to put down the wee glass and we're going to discuss the trial of the weekend. Now, at the end of 2023, myself and Jasmine decided that we would become the Tyro conveners of 2024. Now, that simply means that we decide where the next trial is going to be and we put in a little bit of our character into the Tyro trials. Now, we both agree that the Tyro trials are hugely important, should really keep on doing this, because the Tyro trials are the beginner trials. It's the, it's the gateway into motorsport. It's the entry level into motorsport. Now, off-road has this unique way into motorsport that you can take your daily driver, you join a club, you pay your money, you come along, someone will explain the rules to you. You usually learn as you go. But you're then in and you're then competing in motorsport in your daily driver. Now that, that sort of level of entry into motorsport for most car clubs disappeared in the oh, 70s. So you take the car that you drive to your work every single day, you bring it along and you're competing at tyre level. So that's what we're going to discuss here on I'm looking at Jasmine. Jasmine is behind the camera tonight because Jasmine has a very sore throat. Now, I have recommended that she tries a little touch of the what we're on tonight. We're on the old dark bag tonight, but it keeps me lubricated. Right, so Jasmine is behind the camera tonight, so I'm distracted by the whiskey. All of a sudden, I want to go into my still talk mode of smelling the, the dried raisins and the smokiness of the island whiskies. But that's not why we're here tonight. We're here tonight to sort out the cane tops and discuss what happened at the first trial of the year, which was at Glen Mavis. I'm looking at Jasmine for, 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 yes, confirmation, that's the word, girl. So, Glen Mavis was the first trial of trial. In fact, I think it was the first trial of the Scottish Land Rover Owners Club of the entire year. She's nodding, so it's a yes. So this is all good. So, as the year continues, what we'd like to do is we'd like to capture the the banter we'd like to capture why people get up at half past six half past seven in the morning jump in their old land rovers their new land rovers and we all meet in some little corner of scotland that everybody's forgotten about and we just have a laugh we just have fun it's a very light-hearted the competition is the reason we come along but it's the it, it, it's 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 lunch with your friends. It's a very light-hearted day out, and I, I don't want to take it away from the the videos and the amazing photographs that we've had for years and years and years and years. And some of these photographs do capture the the the, the fun and the actual club members. But what we're what we're going to do on Kane Top trial talk <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to try to capture exactly that we're going to try and capture the in-car footage we're going to try and capture some of the talk and some of the support that you get from your fellow competitors and the reason that we all get up at a ridiculous hour in the morning on a saturday or a sunday and we head to these places and we've, i'm just rambling on now so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go over to, I think, I'm looking at Jasmine again, Neil Scott. Now, Neil Scott's been building his little Series 3 now for, oh, the usual sort of, I don't know, three, four years. It, it takes a bit of time to, you know, get the energy up to finish these cars. But as you'll see, Neil's car, leaf sprung, Series 3, two and a quarter petrol engine. He got it to the start line. So that's the video that you're about to see. So hopefully I've explained what we're trying to achieve here. And... Over to Neil on the start line. No. <laughs> is it just condensation that's chucking it? It's running fine for a diesel, Neil, running fine for a diesel. Quite quiet for a diesel. 
certainly a bit smoky for a petal. <laughs> it's just to be in the morning. And that's a big congratulations to Neil Scott. Now, if you've ever built a Land Rover and you've got it to the start line, if you finish your first section and it's all went well, well done, Neil Scott. Now, we're going to keep the series theme going in the next clip because we have another two leaf sprung cars turned up at the first tyre of the year. And we're going to show that the old leaf sprung cars from the 1970s are still competing just with maybe not the comfort and the grace and the heater of the modern cars but I think they have a, I believe we have a Disco 4 and we have a Discovery Sport and they're all doing the same section and this is the beauty of the Tyro Trials so you'll see in the next little short clip that it doesn't matter what Land Rover you've got bring it along, have a go So that's us on three leaf sprung cars today. It's good to see. That's why he was late for the start line, he was looking for his CD. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a good place to go in, isn't it? <laughs> it's the actual graph, it's the polish graph, it's the other polish graph, isn't it? Uh, Ron in the third series three of the day, look at that! Go on boys, oh, the petrol fumes are going to kill us! Hit the unburnt petrol. Angus Ponton. Angus Ponton. Angus Ponton. There you go, the computer gets the road yeah. tires yeah. up the yeah. fucking grass. Yeah. Even when you don't need the four wheels. <laughs> Let's just do it with you. <laughs> Remember I said that, it used to be a bit of a rent. What's great to see in off-road motorsport, and especially at the tyro level, is we, we have cars from so many decades all competing together couple of cars there from the 70s, a couple of cars there from the 2010s, I would think 2020s, not quite really in my modern Land Rovers. But we're also going to show you a little clip now. When I bring out the camera, people are not really concerned about their driving skills, they're more concerned about, you know, that Christmas period that we've all just went through. So a little clip of, New, of Craig and I, sorry, Craig and I discussing the best way to stand in front of the camera. Over to Craig. That, that harsh sunlight behind us. Well, I'm, it, I'm it, glad you've got it. Slim us up. Slim us up. Honestly. Also, other top tip is I stand sort of half behind you like that. So, see when this comes out, I look I'd, so I'd, much slower. I'd, I'd stand three quarters. <laughs> yeah. so, so anyway, see, right, in fact, as I was saying, <laughs> so my very first. Of course, right? Off the year, in the, hill, in the right? new I've car. I've walked it, I've walked it in the new car, right? I've walked it going down the hill. Didn't see the one gate at all. So I've come down the hill through the gate, two flag. Quite happy that I've got a zero. And we've backed it. And I've actually didn't realise until then. Well, I'm technically, one gate. you haven't finished yet. I know, but I stopped the car. <laughs> so I got one point. And yeah, what would you never get a telling you at this point? I mean, we'll never get I'm going to fire him. So best of luck getting a new one. I know. Well, I'm pretty sure that you'll all agree that Craig and I look, well, rather dashing in that video. So, moving on from that, and I'm sure Craig, sorry, but I'm sure that your first mistake on the first section of the first event of the season, I'm pretty sure that's not going to cost you the championship at the end of the season, but that we'll have to wait and see, I'm afraid. But if not, sorry. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm now going to jump in with... Neil, Scott, in his, as I mentioned earlier, his very recently rebuilt 
Series 3 Land Rover just to show you some in-car footage. I always believe that the out car, the outside the car footage always shows that it's all very, you know, just straightforward and there's nothing in it. It's all very smooth. But I think when you see us in the car, you'll realise that even the smooth bits, especially like Glenn Davis, aren't actually smooth. So Neil's driving is very smooth, but I'm going to jump in with Neil and that's the next video. Neil and I go now into the second section at Glen Mavis and his Series 3. In theory that we're recording. Yes. So here we are, Dave multitasking. We are recording yes. whilst trying to fit a seatbelt. Yeah. And there's Craig over there, look. There's Craig over there. Craig. We've got a seatbelt in. Wait a minute. Wait. I think we've got a seatbelt in. So Again. We're recording? Ah, you're We're recording. recording? Right. You find us here today at the the Tyro trial in Glen Mavis. And Neil is test driving his little Series 3 that he's been rebuilding for the last few months. But to be honest, well, you rebuilt the chassis a year ago, two years ago? <laughs> four years ago. But realistically, the last uh, three or four months, he's basically put the car together. He thinks he has gearbox issues. We're not going to mention the <laughs> suspension issues. <laughs> this is the first time I've been in a leaf sprung car in quite some time. And I'm not quite sure that he's actually fitted the leaf springs. I think he's just put some random metal oh, beams in. So no, it's the solid shock absorbers. <laughs> the solid, the teak and walnut shock absorbers that he made on the lathe. Yes. <laughs> if you paint them up right. Right, fine. concentrate Neil, we're on the start line. We're ready to go, yeah. We're on the start line of section three. On time. So how is section one and two went then, Neil? Oh, keep, it, keep it on, keep it on. Perfect. Uh, I think you need so, to turn the idle up a bit. Put it on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, we, we can turn the speed up later on. Oh, well, I can't so, even take my hat off, can I? Can you? Anyway, I mean, it's, it's actually a glorious morning here in it's January in Glen Mavis. We can see the tent gate section there. We're just waiting to go. Now, we could film where we're going, or we could film. This, this, the, the driver. No, I think you should do a combination. We could film his feet, because his feet does oh, fair step back. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this the good old rod accelerator. Nah, it's cable malarkey. Well, you've got old, the good old fashioned up down pull, rod. pull, shove. Yep. So it's hey, a bit. Neil. Right. Oh, we've got the good to go. Right, we've got the good to go. Hang on to the camera, Dave. Do you know where we're there going? We go. I don't know where we're going, I'm on the camera. You told me, you remember... No, no, you walked the course. I'm multitasking as it I is. I never walked the course. <laughs> never walked the course. I didn't. Oh, we can't see anything. The sun's in my face. Course. Which is actually perfect for the, 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 the camera, Neil. All that lovely sun's right yeah. in my face. Are you sure we're supposed to be going doing this? I'm bit? not sure we're supposed to be going doing this, but I'm okay. Oh, God. And we're sporting our rag top today, which is for maximum protection. That's it, bring round. Did you fit the power steering, Neil? I did. No. Is it, is it clockwork power steering? I think you forgot to wind it up. Well, it's everything else. It's not working. Actually, see, for trialing clockwork power stations, a good idea. It would be. Up the hill, there we go. Up the hill, see? Up the hill, up the hill, there we go. Up the hill. Oh, 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 oh. And we're up the hill. Well done, Neil. Fighting the right. Oh, man. crossing the ruts. Oh, cross the ruts, cross the ruts. <laughs> There's a clue. Oh, there is. <laughs> Ever the professional, Mr. Scott. <laughs> you know, put the steering lock on, Neil. <laughs> I've got big tyres. Does it go downhill? Oh, look at the wing mirrors. The wing mirrors are going there, just cane hitters. There we go. There we go, there. Is that clear again? That was another. So you've just witnessed, possibly for the first time, the experience of a 70s Land Rover on the inside of the car isn't quite as smooth as it looks. So we're now going to go on to mention that if you do come along to one of our events and you sign on, which I thoroughly recommend that you do, you're now going to see the support and the welcome that you'll get from your fellow competitors. Loser, no legend. Right, now that you have seen that you will always have the support and the respect of your fellow competitor, I'm going to remind you viewers that there's a second way that you can join an off-road motorsport club and that's being a marshal. Now, if you're a marshal, well, there's always cakes. People always give cakes to the marshals. It's not a bribe, it's just a unspoken rule. <laughs> but 
Not only is there cakes, but quite often you can actually get a trophy. The best marshal, the best man behind the scenes, there are two or three trophies in our club, and they are basically for the guys who run the events. Everything from sorting the cane tops to sticking the cane in the ground, start marshal, finish marshal, just making sure that people are not cheating. So, being a marshal, definitely recommended. A little short video on how you win a trophy. <laughs> the joys of being the Land Rover convener. You get very friendly with canes. Lots and lots and lots of canes. And the first thing you realise as a Land Rover convener or a Land Rover who sets up courses is we always have the canes five inches longer than the width of the Land Rover. We need to, at the start of the year, make the canes the width of the Land Rover. It would make our lives so much easier. Right, the last video, I just showed you how to win top marshal of the year, which there's a nice shiny cup. The next video, I believe, this is Jasmine's first in-car video. She jumps in with Craig in his Discovery 4, and I think this shows that even in Land Rover's computer world of technology and suspension and all of this fancy stuff is still bumps are bumps <laughs> so over to jasmine and craig <laughs>
We're going right around for the big, the big loop. Right round, right round. Right right <laughs> Just little issues with the accelerator getting yeah, stuck yeah. on. Right round, right round. Right right <laughs> so nice big long open sections is what you get at the tyros. Oh, Neil's choosing to cut the corners. Up the hill. We want to give the new drivers and the young drivers as much driving time as possible behind the wheel. So over to my side a little bit, Neil, and then that's your number seven gate down there. See, but they're still got little technical bits in them. There is a big hole in here someplace as well, but I'm pretty sure I put the cane so you can't go in the hole. And then back along for the second loop. Six. Heading back into the six here. This is well counting down as well. We nearly got oh, stuck oh, there, Neil. We nearly got stuck. You're going up through, so take it kind of wide over to the other side, get yourself plenty of turning circle. As soon as you need three goes. Wind around, son, wind around. So, so you can see, one. are we going to get this? Are we going to get this? No problem for Neil. And then two's over to your side. Neil's actually making a bit of a meal of this, to be honest. There's way around these big lumps. <laughs> well, why so <laughs> But when you don't have power steering... Suspension of the child motor, because I don't go around them. Yeah, but when you've got power steering, you can choose to go around them. There, we're going to just... So, well done to Neil for completing the 12-gate section. Obviously, I gave him a little bit of help. Now, you think that Neil would have learned from the previous walk round, that you have to walk round, but once again, Neil was doing something else. Something to do with setting up a CCV for the following day. And they hadn't actually walked around the box trial, which is more of a memory game than a driving game. So he asked a fellow competitor navigator who had walked it to jump in beside him. Yes, Charlie, that's you. And yes, Charlie, you forgot to tell Neil to go through the two gate. Or well, at least that's Neil's story anyway. So here we have Neil collecting his second point. So when we're going to put one car on at a time? Oh, yeah, well, I think we'll go with it. Go with it, can do 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 it. Now here we have another little video of Charlie, who was Neil's navigator. Now Charlie is now back with his father, Craig, doing his navigating job. Well, shall we say, Perfect, as Craig completes the box section on a clear. Never trust anybody else's navigator. <laughs> so basically Craig's watched it, what's that, 13 times? Has he last? No, one way to go. One way to go, so he's watched it 12 times, so surely by now he's going to have it right. So here on Kane Talk, Trial Talk, we do know a bit about trials and driving. What we're not quite sure on is the technology to record it. So the introduction to Jasmine to use all, well, that wasn't really the best and the, 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 the push button and the pause button and the off button and the but well, you'll see a bit of Jasmine. Oh, can I have to take my feet off oh, things? Apologies for my lack of, well, modern technology is just not my thing. But anyway, sorry to Jasmine, that was meant to be her introduction to the video, but I'm pretty sure we'll catch her next time. Right, on to the complicated bit. Now, the scores. Now, in our other disciplines, the speed events, the CCVs, the RTVs, there's what we call a novice cup. But because the tyros, are the novice we don't have we have two cups 
but the title champion is the, the novice. So the out to pasture, as I like to call it, they're the drivers that have competed in more than three seasons. So if you want to win the title cup, you have to win it in your first three years. Now, the out to pasture was won by Alan, Andrew, Angus and Joshua. You all know who you are. And well done. Big, big round of applause. Right, the one thing that I can't emphasise enough is if you bring along the non-drivers. This is the 13-year-olds. Whether it's your family, whether it's your son, daughter, next door neighbour, bring along the youngsters, get them behind the wheel. They, 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 they just grow as, as the season goes on. It's a fantastic way to enjoy the weekend is get the youngsters behind the wheel, come along to the Tyros. The confidence that they get, because as all of these scores over the years show, the youngsters beat the drivers over and over and over again. So that would be my king top, trial top, top tip. Get the youngsters behind the wheel. It's a fantastic day out. Now, we're going to leave you with... <laughs> it's all very serious, this motorsport. So we're going to leave you. Jasmine and I jumped in with Craig and Charlie for the final stage of the day where, well, he's no virgin, but he's certainly a material girl. And I'll pass you over to Craig and Charlie. Right, Craig. Last course of the day. Craig has picked up a single penalty point One. on nine sections, so we're on section <laughs> ten, so we're expecting a clean drive from Craig today. Yeah, we shall try. There is a little tricky bit at the end, a little bit of extra pressure. I we'll try not to give you the commentator's curse, but you've been driving very well today. Thank you very much, David. Right. And I'm sure you will continue to drive very well. Turn up the sounds, here we go. So what we're getting, Madonna from 1989 today, is it? Madonna from 1983. Does the man say yeah?